the Octonaut and the Loneliest Whale. What are you doing, mateys? We are listening to the most popular song of the summer. That doesn't sound like any sea shanty I've ever heard. That's because it's a whale song made by humpback whales. Look! Whoa! These whales are on their way to their summer feeding grounds. They use their songs to talk to each other, and they can hear the songs even when they're miles and miles apart. And the song they're singing now has been really popular this year. All the humpbacks are singing it. It's the only song on the radio. Listen. Here. Here. And here. Humpbacks all over the world are singing the exact same song. Incredible. Let me try. Hang on, that's new. Maybe they got tired of the old song. No, I mean, it sounds different. I've never heard a voice like it before. Maybe these whales have, Dashy. Good idea, Captain. Excuse me, humpback whales. Yes? Sorry to interrupt your journey, but we just wondered if you'd ever heard a song like this before. Uh, nope, not heard that before. It doesn't even sound like a humpback. The singing doesn't match anything in the Octopod sound collection. Whatever's making that noise, there's nothing like it in the ocean. This could be an entirely new species of whale. Or an entirely new species of sea monster. Well, there's only one way to find out. Octonauts, it's time to investigate. I'm picking up something big on the tracker. Very big. It should be on the other side of this reef. Ah, there's nothing here. No, but I thought I saw something. Me too. Something big. The trick is still saying it's up ahead. Then let's go, mateys. It's gone again. I get the feeling it doesn't want to be disturbed. Let's go forward gently this time, so we don't scare it. Whatever it is. You hear that? It sounds so sad. Like the world's loneliest sea monster. Or the world's loneliest whale. That's a humpback whale. But his voice is like no humpback I've ever heard. I think he's looking for food. He's a young one and he looks very skinny, Captain. Then he might need our help. Activate helmets. Hello there. That's a very interesting song you're singing. Oh, thanks. It's my I'm hungry song. My name's Joe, by the way. Are you on your own, Joe? Yep, I'm pretty much always on my own. I guess the other humpbacks kind of don't understand my singing. Captain, Joe is far from the summer feeding grounds. Without the other whales to show him the way, he won't have enough to eat. Joe, why don't you come with us to our octopod and we'll see if we can help you. I don't suppose there's any food at this here octopod. I'm uh, kind of hungry. Absolutely. Follow us. Right behind you. Mmm, <laughs> these here fish biscuits are pretty good. Captain, I think I found the cause of Joe's unusual voice. What is it, Peso? These are the tubes inside Joe's nose. And these are the tubes inside a typical humpback's nose. See how much smaller Joe's are? Of course! Whales sing by pushing air through their nose. But because Joe's tubes are so narrow, his songs sound different. Uh-huh. So that's why the early whales can't understand me. Yow! What was that? Oh, gee. <laughs> Just my tummy rumbling. I don't suppose you have any more of those fish biscuits? Captain, Joe can't just eat fish biscuits. He needs a proper whale diet. Yeah, and the vegetables need a break. Hmm, Joe needs food and fast, so we need to get him to join a group of whales who show him to the summer feeding grounds. The last group is on its way to the feeding grounds. After they've gone, there are no more humpbacks in this part of the ocean. Then time is running out. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, 
Joe here is hungry and all alone. If we're going to help him, we need to find a way to make the other whales understand Joe's song. I might have an idea, Cap. With a little help, I think I could build a special machine that Joe could wear that would make his voice sound like the other humpbacks. Oh, really? Oh, but won't that take a long time? I'll have it done faster and you can say bunch of munchy crunchy fish biscuits. It's our best shot. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> The Joe Coder. Here you are, Joe. You can wear the Joe Coder on your neck. Just tap it with your fin when you want to sing, and your songs will go from this. Go ahead, Joe. <coughs> to this. <coughs> I sound like a regular humpback. Now I can... Nothing to worry about. Just gotta fix it. Oh, too loud! Oh, oh, oh. Phew, the problem's fixed. But now Joe's gone. A loud noise frightened him. We better find him fast, or the other humpbacks will be gone for good. There's no time to lose. Let's go. <sighs> no sign of him, Captain. We found Joe before, so we can do it again. Peso, check the tracker and look for a big shape. Uh, I'm looking at the tracker, and it's covered in big shapes. Of course. We're surrounded by whales. We have to find Joe before they pass by on their way to the feeding ground. Maybe we could sing. I'm not sure now's the time for singing, matey. No, I mean, what if we could use the Joe coder to make me sound like Joe? Good idea. Then Joe will want to see who else sings like him. Tweak. I'll just change that and reverse this and there. That ought to do the trick. Right, Peso. Go for it. Here goes nothing. I hope you're listening, Joe. <gasps> what was that? It might be my tummy. Think I ate something funny for lunch. Keep trying, Peso. You can do it. <gasps> That's it! He's done it, Captain! Now we just have to hope Joe can hear it and wants to see who's singing his song. There aren't many whales left to pass, Captain. Soon it'll be too late. Come on, Joe. Where are you? What? That sounds like my voice. Peso, where'd you learn to sing like that? I'll show you, Joe. Oh, it ain't gonna make that terrible noise again, is it? It's fixed, I promise. <laughs> Woo! I can't believe it! That works! <laughs> now, that's more like it. Let's just hope someone's listening. Hey, who's that singing? What a great song! It's our pal, Joe. Oh, I love your style. We're on our way to the feeding grounds. You should come with us. Oh, gee, thanks. And thank you, Octonauts, for having me sing my song. Listen. They're all singing your song. Now go. Good work, everyone. Joe should have no trouble finding the feeding grounds now that he's teamed up with the other humpbacks. And they really seem to like his song. It's not just Joe's friends. Humpbacks are singing it everywhere. Looks like it's catching on here, too. <laughs> the Octonauts and Operation Deep Freeze. Are you sure this is the place, Captain? 
I'm sure, Quasi. The Arctic Polar Scout emergency post is out here on the sea ice. Uh, ah. Aha! There it is. Let's go. I'll just knock on the... Oh! Captain Barnacles. It's good to see you back in the old post, sir. Quasi, Peso, meet Tracker. Tracker, meet the Octonaut guys. I mean, the Octonauts. I'm Quasi. And I'm Peso. Welcome to the Polar Scout Emergency Post. Tracker's in charge here, and he does an excellent job. I was trained by the best. That's you and Captain Barnacles. Yep. Before he was captain of the Octonauts, he trained Polar Scouts like me for the emergency service. What kind of work do you do at this post, matey? Okay, this is my listening station. When someone sends out a call for help in the Arctic, it's my job to hear it and make sure they get the help they need. And that's why we're going to set up a connection between this emergency post and the Octopod. So we can work together to help as many creatures as possible. Ready to test the link? Ready, sir. Dashie here, Captain. Tracker, meet Dashie. She's our computer expert aboard the Octopod. Nice to meet you, Tracker. Really nice to meet you. So, how's the signal? Good. OK, that's a call for help. And where's it coming from? It's... well, that's weird. It's not coming from the Arctic. It's coming from the opposite side of the world. The Antarctic? Yeah, and... Whoa, Captain, it's coming from an old ice research station that's been shut down for years. So there shouldn't be anyone living at that station at all. But someone's sending a call for help. And someone needs to answer it. Tracker, stand by. Yes, sir. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, our mission is to answer a mysterious call for help from the other side of the world. Tracker? Right, sir. I'm sending through a map now. Here we are in the Arctic. The call for help came from this ice research station in the Antarctic. And who lives at the station? Tracker says it's been shut down for years. And nobody's heard a peep from it until now, mateys. Dashie. Set a course for the Antarctic. Tracker, we'll keep you posted. Cool. I mean, right, sir. And good luck. Tracker out. Activating launch. Welcome to Antarctica. Octonauts to the GUP S. We've come all the way from the Arctic to the Antarctic, but really, what's the difference? Ah, there are lots of differences, Quasi. For one thing, polar bears live only in the Arctic. And penguins live in the Antarctic. And just look at the map. The Arctic is north. The Antarctic is south. When it's winter in the Arctic, it's summer in the Antarctic. The Arctic is a frozen ocean surrounded by land. The Antarctic is a frozen land surrounded by ocean. They're both too cold for cats. But the Antarctic is even colder than the Arctic. The Antarctic is the coldest place on Earth all year round. <sighs> Me whiskers are shivering just thinking about it. Hot chocolate. That should warm me up. Thanks, Tunip. What was that? I'm not sure. Whatever it is, we're surrounded. And one of them's heading straight for us. Hey, so? Uju! Octonauts, this is my cousin, Uju. He's an Adeli penguin. What are you doing out here? We're making a big once a year journey from the sea back to our nesting grounds on the land. That can't be an easy trip. No, 
But I've seen so many amazing things along the way. <laughs> Look at the beautiful shape of this ice. Uju! Please keep up with the rest of the group. But look who I found! Cousin Peso! So nice to see you. I wish we had time to talk. We have to get to our nesting ground soon. And after this big swim, we still have a long march across the land. I understand. Goodbye, Uju. Safe journey, everyone. Thanks, Bye, Peso. Peso. Say hello to your family for us. Ah, oh, you penguins make the Antarctic seem a little friendlier, matey. <laughs> Everyone, it's time to take the Gup S on to land. Settle in and get comfortable. We've got a long trip ahead of us. We should be getting close to the ice research station. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. It's difficult to see anything out there. Who knows, mateys? With all this wind and snow, the station may have disappeared without a trace. <laughs> Captain! Flashing light! Straight ahead! I think we've found our research station. Let's see if anyone's home. In all this wind and snow, it's easy to get lost. So everyone, hold on to this rope. That way we'll stay together. Everybody ready? Wait, where's my... Captain Coco? Thanks, matey. See you later. All right, Octonauts. Let's move out. Only one bite out of it. Somebody had to eat and run. And somebody's been filling up a lot of notebooks. Uh, getting closer. Very loud now. Must be deep down in the ice. Whoa! Uh, what was that? Everybody out! Here, grab on! Is everyone okay? Safe and sound, Captain. But we still don't know who called for help. Look, Captain. Tracks. Hmm. These tracks are the paw prints of an Arctic fox. But that doesn't make sense, Captain. Arctic foxes don't live in the Antarctic. Let's see where these lead. I don't believe it. Professor Natquick? Oh, I don't believe it. Barnacles. <laughs> Did you call for help? Yes, yes. I was beginning to think that nobody heard me. <laughs> Octonauts, this is Professor Natquick. When I was a young polar scout, he taught me how to do field research in the Arctic. And I'm happy to see you remember what I taught you. How to recognize tracks, how to listen for sounds that others miss, and... <laughs> <laughs> How to dodge one of my surprise snowballs. <laughs> Very good, Barnacles. Thanks. But what are you doing so far from home, Professor Natquick? 
I came here to do research in the Antarctic many years ago. No one knew you were still here. My radio broke long ago, but I couldn't leave. I'm on the edge of amazing discovery, but it may soon be lost. Lost? Why? Follow me. Click, click. This is why I called for help. <gasps> I realized that the ice was moving and pulling the station into this enormous ice chasm. When it falls in... All of your work goes with it. And disappears forever. As you can see, it could fall in at any moment. Then we've no time to lose. Tweak? We can pull this ice research station to safety faster and you can save a bunch of munchy crunchy... Oh, frozen carrots! Let's do this. Uh, activate snow spikes. Thank you, Octonauts. You saved the station and my life's work. Now I can share my amazing discovery. Follow me. Click, click. I always pounce on the chance to investigate a strange new sound. When I arrived in Antarctica, I discovered this. <gasps> the bloop sound. But who or what was making it? That was question. I tracked the sound deep in the ice until finally I discovered that the mysterious bloop is made by... A humongous blooptopus. No, it's... A gigantic bloopzilla. No. A monstrous blooperoceros. No, no. The bloop sound is made by enormous ice quakes. Ice quakes? Yes, yes. It's the sound the ice makes when it breaks and moves. Congratulations, Professor Netquick. That's quite a... Shh, listen. Do you hear that? Yeah. Nothing. I'm afraid we don't have your Arctic fox hearing. Ah, yes. Here, listen through speakers. Ah, yes. I hear it now. But what is it? Mm, sounds like the pitter-patter of lots of little feet. No, no. It's not Peter Patter, it's a Woodle Waddle. A Woodle Waddle? But what Woodle Waddles? My cousins, the Adeli penguins, they Woodle Waddle. They're heading back. And they could be heading straight for the ice chasm. Captain, with the wind blowing all the snow around, my cousins might not see the chasm before it's too late. They could fall in. We need to warn them to stay back. Everyone, to the Gup S. Cap, the flares are ready to go. They should be bright enough so the Adelie penguins can see them even through the snow. Good work, Tweak. Now, we just have to make sure our timing is right. Dashy? The radar shows that the Adelie penguins are close to the chasm. All right, Peso. Let's send up the flares. On my count. Three, two, one. Ooh, Ooh what's that? Did you see those lights? Attention, Adeli penguins! This is your cousin Peso speaking. It's Peso. Why, everyone? What's he saying? Shh, please stay where you are and don't go any further, or you'll fall into an ice chasm. Everybody, stop! All right. Thanks, Peso. We'll stay where we are, but we still have to get to our nesting grounds. Is there some way that they can go around the ice chasm? The ice chasm is miles long. Going around it would take a long time. Captain, they're already tired from their long trip from the sea onto the land. If they have to travel extra miles around this chasm, I'm not sure all of them will make it. Then we'll just have to find a way to get them over this ice chasm. The bridge might work, but what can we make it out of? There's nothing but snow and ice in this scurvy place, and it takes more than that to build a bridge. I need something to warm me up. Ah, look, it's so cold that my hot chocolate freezes as soon as I pour it. Quasi, you're a genius. I am? Cap, I know just how we're gonna make a bridge. 
First, we drill a tunnel through the ice. And the heated drill will melt the ice into water as we go. Then, the water will pour out from our side of the chasm, and as it hits the other side, it'll freeze up. Just like my hot chocolate. Octonauts, let's make an ice bridge. Penguins, you can start crossing the bridge. But please be careful. Come on, Udo. Is everyone safe and accounted for? Yes, Captain. I believe everyone's here. <laughs> oh, except... Hold on. Where's Uju? Ooh. Huh. Wow. Oh, oh. Uju! Hi, Peso. Look at these amazing icicles. And over here, oh, the ice is waving. You need to hurry and cross the bridge now. Yes, kick, kick. You never know when another ice crack could hit. Come on, Uju. No time for stopping. Speed waddle. All right, I'm coming. <gasps> ice crack. Wait! I hear a rustling sound from somewhere in the ice chasm. Yes, yes! That's definitely the sound of penguin flippers! He's alive! Oh, how can we get him out? If only we could fly! Poor Uju! Don't worry, penguins! We'll save him! Octonauts, one of us will have to go down after him. I'm ready to go, Captain! I'd like to go. Uju may be hurt and need medical help right away. Agreed. Peso. The rest of the team will lower you down to Uju. And we'll pull both of ye back up safe and sound. That's a promise, matey. Octonauts, let's set up the rescue rope. All ready here. Ready. 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 On rope, going down. <laughs> I'm down here! Yes, I'm coming for you! More rope, Captain! Did I fall all the way to the bottom? No, you were lucky. You landed on a ledge. Are you hurt? My flippers are fine, but I, I can't move my foot. Hold on. I'm almost there. <sighs> Peso! Ah! Would you? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Hold your positions. Peso, are you okay? Well, Captain, I'm at the end of my rope. And so is Uju. You got me! Yes, I've got you. Captain, bring us up. Well done, Peso. Octonauts, slow and steady with the rope. Oh! <laughs> Work, Octonauts, and especially you, Peso. I've never seen flippers that fast. Just doing my job, and now your foot needs a proper bandage. <laughs> it's time to finish our trip back to the nesting grounds. Oh dear, Uju shouldn't waddle on his foot for a few more days. I think we can help with that. Forward, waddle. Goodbye. Bye. 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 So, how fast can this thing go? Let's find out, matey. <laughs> Fantastic! Well, Professor Natquick, are you ready to get back to work? Oh, yes, yes! Oh, but I'm afraid this old ice research station is falling apart.
Hmm. What do you think, Tweak? Well, it's definitely a fixer-upper. So, let's fix her up. Just give me about eight weeks in two days. <laughs> this is wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Glad you liked it. I call it the Gup Eye. The eye is for ice. I've put in solar panels and these turbines to harness the wind for power. The whole station is on snow treads now, so you can move it away from any ice chasm that suddenly opens up. <laughs> but that's not all. Go ahead and raise her up, Dashy. These legs can lift the station up high if the snow gets too deep. <laughs> Incredible. If you like the outside, you'll love what's inside. Come on. Your very own hot chocolate machine. But that's not the best new feature. It's not. We've set up special pole-to-pole -pole communications. Dashy. This is the Arctic Polar Scout Emergency Post. Tracker here. Tracker, meet Professor Natquick of the Antarctic Ice Research Station, now known as the Gup I. Good to meet you, Tracker. Ooh, listen. A mysterious new sound. I hear it too. But who or what is making it? That is question. Oh, I believe it was the sound of a humongous slurptopus. Whoops. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Professor, now that mystery is solved, how would you like a cup of hot chocolate? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, please. Me too. I'm ready for seconds. <laughs> Good work, Tweak. Oh, yummy. Delicious. <laughs> the Octonauts and the Emperor Penguins. <laughs> You're right, it is cold, Tunic. Can you believe these emperor penguins have been standing out here since the winter started in Antarctica? Super! It's true! It's up to these penguin dads to keep their eggs warm until they hatch. Hmm, look like our mums. The penguin mums are at the ocean getting food for their family. But it's a long, long trip home. I hope they're back soon. Yeah, me too. It's gonna downright boring just standing here. We may be bored, hungry and tired, but we're emperor penguins. We'll do whatever it takes to keep our eggs safe. Right, dads? Right! I can hear you! Right! Shellington to Gup I. Not quick here. The emperor penguin eggs are fine, and the fathers are staying strong. Very good, Shellington. It looks like the temperature is warming up. Spring is nearly here. The winds are calm, and eh? Huh? What's that noise? Follow me. Quick, quick. Ah, penguin cheeks. They're scratching because they're hatching. Super, super. Let's go and tell Captain Barnacles our egg sighting news. <laughs> Cracking! Good to hear, Shellington. The Emperor chicks have hatched. And that means it's time for the mums to head back home. How are the Emperor Penguin mothers doing, Peso? Swimmingly, Captain. Look, they're chasing off the food so they can fill up their tummies and feed their families. Incredible! Look at that strength and speed. My Emperor Penguin cousins are champion divers. They can swim deeper than any other bird. Dashy, Quasi, it's almost time for the penguin mums to head home. How's the research coming? Amazing, Captain. I'm getting some video of Emperor penguins feeding that nobody's ever seen before. Yeah! Look at them go! The flipping and the sipping! Oh, yeah! And now I'm getting some video of Quasi that nobody's ever seen before. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah! Ready to go again. Oh, I'm still new at all this. First year laying an egg, first time diving for food as a mom. First time? You swim like a pro. Oh, you think so? I feel so full and clumsy. It's our last meal before the long trip home, so we have to eat a lot. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. 
It looks like the mother penguins have finished eating and are ready to get back to their families. We'll want to be on the ice when those penguins surface. Something tells me it's going to be quite a show. Look! Did you see that? Those penguins launch faster than cannonballs! Check, check. Check, check, check. Barnacles to Gup Eye, the Emperor Penguin Mothers are on their way back home. Not all the mothers. We're missing one. You're right, me hearty. Where's the penguin that gave me a ride? She must still be underwater. She'd never be late on purpose. Penguin Mothers know when it's time to go back home. See? Something must have happened to her. She may need help. Dashy, take the Gup S under now. <laughs> Emperor penguins can only hold their breath for 20 minutes. Then we'd better move fast. There, Captain. Good work, Dashy. Peso, let's bring her aboard. Oh. Easy does it. This penguin's a lot heavier than you, Peso. She's an emperor penguin, the biggest, tallest penguin there is. And it looks like she's broken a foot and sprained a flipper. What happened out there? I, I remember swimming to the surface, but then I hit a chunk of ice. The next thing I remember, you saved me. Now I need to get home. You need to rest. But my family is waiting for me. Then they won't have to wait long. We'll bring you back to the nesting ground ourselves. Oh, thank you. The wind's picked up. I think a blizzard's headed our way, Captain. Any sign of the other penguin mothers yet? I can't see much in this weather, and the ice is slowing us down. Everyone, into your snowsuits, just to be safe. Way ahead of you, Captain. Barnacles to Gup Eye. Can you find us a path away from this wind and snow? Turn northwest, past the nearest ice peak. You'll be sheltered there. Understood. Thanks, Nat Quick. Feels like we're picking up speed. You'll be home to your family soon. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I seem to be bumping into a lot of penguins today. <laughs> What's happening? The ice underneath us is cracking. Ice chasm. Octonauts, abandon the gut S now. Never a dull moment in the Antarctic. You had us worried, Captain. I'm all right, but I can't say the same for the Gup S. We'd better sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to your stations. That's odd. For a second, I thought I heard the Octo Alert. Huh? My Octo Compass is frozen, and the Octo Alert isn't working. Gup I, come in. Come in, Gup I. Shiver me whiskers! And all me other parts, too! We can't stay out in the cold like this! Don't worry. We'll keep warm by carrying you home. But which way is home? Um... I have no idea. And the map's not working. <laughs> that way is home! <gasps> That's right! Emperor penguins can find the way back to their babies without a map or a compass. Even in a blizzard! Octonauts, let's do this!
long now, love. Not long at all. Look. <laughs> you find your mom? What does she look like? It's more important what she sounds like. Each Emperor Penguin family has a special call only they use. I'd recognize my wife's call anywhere, and she's not here. She's not the only one who is missing. Where is Barnacles? I thought the team would be back with the Penguin Mothers. This is Tweak to go, Bess. Hello? Nobody's answering. Wait, wait, I hear something. Me too. Hmm, that sounds like an emperor penguin call. Mixed with a polar bear growl? My darling! I'm here! Bandages? Are you all right, dear? Oh, yes. Thanks to the Octonauts. I never would have made it without them. Now, how about a proper hello, little one? Meet your mommy. <laughs> Oh, my little legs all grown up. Captain, what happened? There was wind and snow and an ice chasm. I'm just glad you're all okay. But where's the gup, S? <clears throat> you tell her, matey. Me? Why do I have to tell her? Well, I'm not going to tell her. I'm afraid the gup S is at the bottom of an ice chasm. Squeak! <sighs> I didn't think you'd take it that hard. <sighs> we'll figure it all out, Cap. It ought to be a real adventure getting the gup ass out of that chasm. Yep. But first, how about some hot chocolate? Good idea, Quasi. Make mine a double with extra marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs>